In this video, I'm going to be showing you an updated way on how to do spot trading and make money with spot trading on the Bybit app. Now, in case you don't know, some years ago, I made a video on how to do spot trading and the video has done so well. A lot of people learned so much on how to do spot trading and make money with spot trading from that video. But from the time I made that video till today, a lot of things have changed about spot trading on the Bybit app and how you can make money with it. So this video is an updated video on how you can do spot trading and make money with spot trading on the Bybit app. So if you're interested in doing sport trading on Bybit, then make sure you watch this video to the end so that you don't miss any important information. Now, from this video, you're going to be learning the following things. You'll be learning what sport trading is all about. You will learn how to use the sport trading page on Bybit. You will learn how to set your take profit and your stop loss. You will learn how to know whether you've made profit or not. You will learn where to pick the coin you want to trade. And I'll be showing you more important things and teaching you other things you need to know about sport trading on the Bybit app. So now that you know what you'll be learning from this video, please like this video and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. About 65% of you who watch my videos have not subscribed to my YouTube channel. So please, if you are watching this video right now, or maybe you've learned something from my YouTube channel, but you've not subscribed, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this video so that other people will be able to see it. Now let's go straight to the point. How do you do sport trading and make money with sport trading on the Bybit app? Now, the first thing you want to do is to ensure that the USDT you want to use to trade is in your unified trading account. Now, how do you do that? You go to your asset page. Now, to go to your asset page, you click at the bottom right corner of the screen where the arrow is pointing to. And right here is your asset page. Now, right here on the screen, you'll be seeing the different accounts that you have. So you can see I have the funding account, I have the unified trading account and the N account. Now, from my old video on how to do sport trading on Bybit, there was nothing like unified trading account. What was there before was funding wallet, sport wallet, and derivatives wallet. But now they've combined both sport wallet and derivatives wallet into unified trading account. So what this means is that instead of having different accounts for sport trading and derivatives trading, you now have everything combined into the unified trading account. So that means that any money you have in your unified trading account, you can use it to trade both sport and derivatives or futures. I hope you understand. So that's one of the new things that has been added to the Bybit app since the time I made my video on how to do sport trading some years ago. So take note of that. So for those of you telling me that you did not see anything like sports wallet in your Bybit asset page, I hope you now understand the reason why. Now, like I said earlier, I said ensure that the USDT you want to use to trade is in your unified trading account. Now, let me go to my unified trading account. So I'll click right here where there is pointing to. And right here on the screen is my unified trading account. And you can see that I have zero USDT in my unified trading account. So this means that I cannot do whether sport trading or derivative trading right now because I don't have any USDT in my wallet. So what you need to do in this case is that if it's that you have maybe your USDT in your funding account, you need to transfer it from your funding account to your unified trading account. I hope you get it. So that's what I'm going to do right now because I have USDT in my funding account. So to do that, you click on transfer right here where that is pointing to. And then you can see where it says from unified trading account to funding account. But that is not what we want to do. What we want to do is to transfer from funding account to unified trading account. So I'll just click on this switch icon right here. So once you click on it, it will switch it. So you can see it is from funding account to unified trading account. So that's what we want to do. Now the next thing is to select the coin you want to transfer. So you can see right here it's showing BTC, but that's not what we want to transfer. What you want to transfer is USDT. So you click on BTC right here, and then you select USDT right here. Then the next thing is for you to enter the amount of USDT you want to transfer. So let's say for example, I want to transfer 500 USDT. I'll just enter 500 right there. So once you enter 500, you click on confirm right here. And just like that, I've transferred 500 USDT into my unified trading account. So you can see right here, it is 500 USDT. So that means that I can now go ahead and take any sport trade or any derivatives or futures trade. But let's say for example, you don't have money in your funding account. What you need to do is to make sure that you deposit money into your Bybit account through the P2P trading page. And I already have a video now you can buy crypto through the P2P trading page on Bybit. The link to that video will be in the description below. So please make sure you watch that video and follow the guide in that video so that you can avoid losing your money to P2P traders. I hope you understand. So that is for how to deposit money into your unified trading account. So now that you have money in your unified trading account, the next thing is to go to the sport trading page. Now to go to the sport trading page, so I'll just click on this back icon right here. And then at the bottom side of the screen, you see where you have trade. So I'll just click on trade. And at the top of the screen, you see where you have convert, sport, futures, and so on. Just click on sport, since that's what we want to do. So just click on sport right there. So this is the sport trading page. 
Now, once you're on the spot trading page right here, the next thing is to pick the coin that you want to trade. Now, to pick the coin you want to trade, you come here to where you have this BTC slash USDT. Just click on it. Now, once you click on it, you'll be seeing the different coins that you can trade on the spot trading page on Bybit. Now, just go ahead and select the coin you want to trade. So, let's for example, the coin you want to trade is BTC USDT. So, this is right here. So, let's still leave it as BTC USDT. Or maybe if it's, let's say, XRP USDT, this is XRP USDT. Any coin you are looking for, you'll find it right here on Bybit. Any coin. So, like I said, let's say we want to trade BTC USDT. So, just click on this BTC USDT right there. And then where that is pointing to is where you see the coin you want to trade. Now, before I go ahead and show you how to do the spot trading, let me explain something about this trading pair. Now, there are a lot of people that don't even understand what it means when you have maybe a coin slash another coin. Like for this, you have BTC slash USDT. Another example is like ETH slash USDT and so on like that. A lot of people don't know the meaning or what it means when you have something like this. Now, there's something called base crypto and quote crypto. Now, the coin you have on the left side is called the base crypto, while the coin you have on the right side is called the quote crypto. Now, what is this base crypto and what is this quote crypto? Now, the base crypto is the coin that you're actually buying or selling. I hope you get it. The base crypto, that is the one on the left, is the one you are actually buying or selling. While the coin on the right, which is the quote crypto, is the coin you are using to buy the base crypto. Or maybe it is the coin you will get when you sell the base crypto. I hope you understand. So in this case, what this means is that BTC is what you're actually buying or selling. So if you are buying right now, it means you are buying BTC. While if you are selling, you are selling BTC. But for the code crypto, which is USDT, this means that you are using your USDT to buy BTC. And then when you want to sell your BTC, you get USDT. So that is what it means when you have a coin slash another coin. It is called the base crypto slash the quote crypto. So I guess you've learned something new today. So if you are just learning this, let me know in the comment section below. Now, the next thing you'll be seeing right there is where you have this chart page and where you have this trade page. Now, this chart page is where you can see information about the chart, where you can do maybe a little technical analysis. And where you have this trade page is where you can actually take the trade. Now, it will take you through both pages. Now, if you come here to where you have this chart page right here, below the coin you want to trade, you'll be seeing the price of that coin that you want to trade. So you can see right now, as at the time of making this video, the price of BTC is about $96,000. And then you can see this small percentage that you see beside the coin you want to trade, where you have this plus 1.4 something percent. A lot of people always ask me, what is the meaning of this? Now, this percentage is showing you how the coin has gone up or down in the last 24 hours. That's the meaning. So this means that between 24 hours ago to this present time, BTC has gone up by 1.41 percent that's the meaning so i hope you get the meaning of that percentage right now so let me know in the comment section if you've learned something again from that now the next part is where you have this 24h high, 24h low and 24h turnover what's the meaning now 24h high means that's the highest price this coin has gotten to in the last 24 hours and then 24h low means that's the lowest price this coin has gotten to in the last 24 hours and 24 h turnover is the amount of USDT that has been traded in this market in the last 24 hours. So you can see all of these digits right here. Now, the next part is where you can select your time frame. So you can see where you have this 15 minutes, uh, where you have this one hour, where you have this four hour, one day, and so on. That's where you can select your time frame. Now, time frame is only showing you how the market is performing for that period of time. So let's say, for example, you are picking 15 minute time frame. For 15 minute time frame, this is showing you how the market is performing every 15 minutes. A lot of people always think maybe you are picking 15 minute time frame that maybe your trade should end after 15 minutes or maybe you should close your trade after 15 minutes. No, that's not the meaning of time frame. Time frame is only showing you how the market is performing for that period you've selected. So if you are selecting, let's say, one hour time frame, one hour time frame is showing you how the market is performing every one hour. So that means that each candlestick on this chart is representing one hour. So I hope you understand it right now. Now, the next thing I'll be showing you right here is where you have this pencil icon. So you can see this pencil icon where they are pointing to. So let's say, for example, you want to do some little drawings on your chart, maybe on Bybit, maybe you want to uh, do some technical analysis. Just select this pencil icon right there. And you can see the different things that you can select from. So you have the trend line, you have box, you have text, you have different things that you can select right here. So let me just do one example for you. So let's say for example, you want to draw your trend line on this chart. Just select this first icon. I'll select it. So you can see that as a trend line. And then I'll just come to where I want to draw my trend line on this chart. So you can see, just select it. 
and you can move it. So this is like an uptrend on this chart. So I've just drawn an uptrend right here. So you can actually do some little technical analysis on your phone. But if you want to do technical analysis, I won't advise you to do it on any exchange or even maybe on your phone. I would advise I use the Trading View app or the Trading View website to do it. And in case you don't have a Trading View account, I have a link in the description below that you can use to create an account on Trading View. Make sure you check the link below. So that's for the chart. And then if you scroll down again, you see where you can select the different technical indicators that you can use. So you can see you have MA, you have EMA, you have Bollinger Band and so on. So in case you want to learn how to use any of these technical indicators, I have a playlist where you can see videos on them. I'll put the link to that playlist in the description below so you can check it out. And if you come here to where you have this order book right here, this is where you can see the different trades that are currently going on in this market. So the green part on the left side is showing you people who are currently buying, while the red part on the right is showing you people who are currently selling. So you can see people are trading in this market every second. And then if you come to trades right here, it also show you the trades that are going on. So you can see the trades that are going on and the time. So you can see, again, every second you have multiple trades going on right there. And then if we click on overview, overview will show you some important details about the coin you are trading. So for Bitcoin, you see the different details about Bitcoin, the release date, the supply limit, the market cap, and so on. You'll be seeing some little information you need to know about the coin you want to trade. And then where you have this data, this right here will show you some different analysis or data that you need to understand about the coin. And then where you have calendar, calendar will show you some important event that will happen that might affect the coin you want to trade, which is Bitcoin. And then where you have this network right here to show you the different networks you can use to transfer your coin. So these are just some basic information you can know about the coin and the charts. So that's for the charts page. Now the next page is the trade page right here. Now remember I said for this page, this is where you actually take the trade. The chart page is only to show you some basic information, do your analysis, and maybe do your due diligence before you go ahead and trade. But this trade page is where you actually do the work. Now before I go ahead and show you how to take your trade right here, please if you have not liked this video right now, please like this video because I'm sure you've learned a whole lot of things from this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, we are trying to reach 200,000 subscribers very soon. Thank you. Now, once you get to this page, the first thing you'll be seeing is an option to select margin. So you can see it right here where you have this margin and this toggle button. So if I click on this toggle button right here, it will show me an option to select margin. But to be honest, I won't advise you to select margin for spot trading. Based on my own experience, I won't advise you to do that. If you want to trade with margin, maybe cross margin or isolated margin, go ahead and do futures trading. So let's go back. I'll just click on this back icon right there and click on exit. And then I'll come here to where you have this margin and then I'll put it off. Now, the next thing you want to do is to click on whether you want to buy or you want to sell. Now, let's start with buying. Now, if you want to buy, you click on buy right here. And once you've done that, below it, you see your available balance. So you can see that the available balance in my unified trading account is 500 USDT. That's the amount I transferred earlier in this video. Don't forget. Now, once you've seen that, the next thing is to select your order type. Now, to select your order type, you come here to where you have this limit, you click on it, and right here, you'll be seeing the different order types that you have. Now, if you are using limit order type, now, limit order type allows you to buy a coin at your own preferred price, or maybe to sell a coin at your own preferred price. And then if you are using market order type, market order type means you want to buy immediately right now. Now, these are the two most common order types that a lot of people use. Now, if you want me to make a video explaining all of these order types, please let me know in the comment section below. If you're interested, I'll definitely make a video on it very soon. So for this video, I'll be using the limit order type and the market order type. So let's start with the limit. So I'll just click on limit right there. And the next thing is to enter the price at which you want to buy the coin. Don't forget I said limit allows you to select the price you want to buy or sell. So let's for example, I want to buy this coin at let's say um, $93,000. So you can see the right now, the price of BTC is $96,000. But maybe I want it to come down a little bit before I buy. Then I can enter a lower price right there, which is $93,000. So once you've entered the price right there, the next thing is to enter the amount of USDT you want to spend for this trade. So let's say for example, I want to buy BTC worth $100. Just come here to where you have this order value, just click on it, and then enter 100, or any amount you want to use to trade, just enter it right there. Now once you've done that, the next thing is to enter your take profit and stop loss. So you can see we have TP slash SL, click on it. Now once you click on it, you can enter your take profit and your stop loss right here. Now for the TP, let's say I want to sell it when it gets to, let's say, um, $100,000. Let's put $100,000 right there. And then let's say for stop loss, let's say I want my stop loss to be, um, let's say, uh, $92,000. Let's put it right there. So you can see I have my take profit and my stop loss. So once you've seen that, just go ahead and click on buy. So I'll click on buy right here. 
And if you scroll up, you see your trade under open order right here. So you can see where you have orders. That's where you have your open order. Now, what does it mean when you have a trade under this open order right here? Now, this means that your trade has not gone through and that is why it is under open order. And the reason why it has not gotten through is because it has not gotten to the price we want to buy. Remember, we want to buy when it gets to $93,000, but the current price of Bitcoin is $96,000. So we have to wait until Bitcoin goes down to $93,000 before we enter the trade. And if you want to confirm that, go ahead and check your assets page. You will not see your Bitcoin there. So it is until when the price of Bitcoin gets to $93,000, that's when the order will go through and you have your BTC in your unified trading account. I hope you get it. So now let me use the market order type. Before I do that, let me cancel this trade. So if you want to cancel this trade, I'll just click on cancel right here. And just like that, the trade has been cancelled. So let me use market order type. So to pick market order type, select limit again. And then I'll select market right here. And then next thing is to enter the amount I want to use to trade. That's the only thing you are entering right here. You're not entering price at which you want to enter the trade because you are entering immediately. Don't forget, I said for market order type, you are entering the trade immediately. So right here, I'll just enter the amount I want to spend. So let's say I want to spend $100. I'll put it right there. And then I'll click on buy right here. So just click on buy. I can see right here, the trade is not under open order. There's nothing under open order right here, you can see. That means the trade has gone through or the trade has been executed. And to confirm that, check your unified trading account. You will see the Bitcoin right there. So I'll just go to the asset page and then I'll click on unified trading. And then you can see the amount of Bitcoin right here is now $236. Before I had about $136 worth of Bitcoin. That's why it is $236. So you'll be seeing the amount of Bitcoin you have right here. So that's to show you that the trade has been executed and you have your Bitcoin in your unified trading account. I hope you get it. So that is how you can use the market order type. So let's go back to the spot trading page. Now, before I go ahead and show you how to sell on the spot trading page, I want to explain something about how to know when you've made profit from spot trading. Now, the first way you know whether you've made profit from spot trading is when the price has gone higher than the price at which you entered the trade. So you can see right now, the price of Bitcoin is about $96,400. If the price of Bitcoin goes up to, let's say, $97,000, $98,000 and so on, then it means you've made profit. Or maybe if the value of the Bitcoin in your wallet has increased or has gone up, then you've made profit. Now, let's for example, after you've seen that you've made profit, you now want to sell your Bitcoin, just go ahead and click on sell right here. Now, once you click on sell, select the order type. So for this, let me just go ahead and use the market order type, which means you want to sell immediately. But if you're using the limit order type, it means you want to enter the price at which you want to sell. But let me just use the market order type. The next thing is to enter the quantity of BTC you want to sell. But in case you want to sell all the BTC in your wallet, just move this slider, this slider right here, move it to 100%. If you want to sell half of it, just move it to 50%. So you can see you have percentage right there. So I'll just move it to 100% since I want to sell everything. And then I'll just come here to where you have sell and click on sell. And just like that, the Bitcoin has been sold and you have your USDT back in your unified trading account. Now, another thing I want to tell you before I go is that you see where you have these two candlesticks. If you click on it, this is where you can like see your chart or the chart of the coin you are trading at the top of the trade page. So let's say for example, while you are trying to take the trade, you want to be seeing the chart at the same time, then you can do that just by clicking on this icon and to show you the chart. So you can see the chart right here and you can even see the trend line that I drew earlier. So this is it. So you'll be able to see your chart right there. Now, in case you want to see more of my Bybit videos, maybe my Bybit tutorials, or maybe how to make money with trading bots on Bybit, maybe how to make money with futures trading on Bybit, or maybe how to deposit and withdraw your money on Bybit, I have a playlist for that. Just check the link in the description of this video. You will see the link to the playlist. And in case you don't have a Bybit account, use my link to create a Bybit account, and you'll be getting the bonus on your first $100 deposit. And by the way, if there's any tutorial you want me to make on the Bybit app, please let me know in the comment section below. Just type it right there. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.